What's the source? Oh, it's selfishness, it's not love. So were you disappointed with an outcome? Did someone inconvenience you? Did someone pull out in front of you on University Parkway driving five miles per hour, zip across two lanes to turn into Fresh Market, hypothetically speaking? (laughs) They do that to you? I just, calm, just, (laughs) Jesus loves you. So, but then there's this other aspect where you may find like it's not just this one thing making you angry, you just feel angry often. And, and if you feel angry often, and a lot do, that is deeper than just like willpower and fixing yourself. You gotta talk to somebody. That is what counselors and therapists are for because that goes way deeper than any circumstance. That is tied to a wound, that is tied to something that you've done, that is tied to something perpetrated against you, or just the environment that you grew up in. And there is no shame in getting to someone and just saying, hey, I need help figuring out why I'm always angry. Is it covering up insecurity or doubt or fear or worry? Like, what is it? And if you need help finding somebody, man, we've got a list of people just to help get you started. So name it, neutralize it. Third, navigate it immediately. Once you've named it, once you've kind of cut it off at the source and it's not blowing up anymore, now you can navigate it. Paul goes on, Ephesians 4, do not let the sun go down while you are still angry and do not give the devil a foothold. Paul says it is literally like you are bringing anger to bed with you if you don't deal with it that day. That word foothold in Greek is the word for a place or room. And so if you allow yourself to remain angry, you don't name it, you don't neutralize it, and you allow yourself to remain angry, it is as if you are saying to the devil, come on, I got, my, I got this nice room for you, I've got it set up, I'm gonna let you in right here in my home, I wanna let you in at our dinner table, I wanna let you into our marriage, I wanna let you into my parenting, I wanna let you into my workplace. And we just make a place for him, make a room for him. So this is why Paul's response is just so sweeping and forceful. In verse 31, he says, get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, brawling, slander, along with every form of malice. He just goes, look, anger and all his buddies have gotta go. Righteous anger, you gotta figure it out, you gotta name it, and then you gotta find what is the avenue to do something about it. Everything else, it has got to go.